We are very pleased that the Bionorica has again organized such a symposium and that we can have speakers from the ESIU and discuss maybe new paradigm of uh, uncomplicated urinary tract infections today. And so I will ask already the first speaker, that is uh, Dr. Tafa Tandolu from the uh, UK, and he will tell us something about antibiotic resistance. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Nauber, and thanks for the uh, kind invitation. Um, I'll be talking about antibiotic resistance and appropriate empiric treatment. The benefit will be one out of three patients will get a better antibiotic, and in neurosepsis, in complicated infections, if you give the wrong empirical antibiotic, it could cost the life of the patient. So that's the benefit of choosing the right antibiotic. Thank you very much. Yes, dear Chairman, thank you. Good afternoon, good evening, uh, dear colleagues. So the first case is a story of a 26-year-old woman who has recurrent urinary tract infections since her sexual activity. This is your very typical recurrent cystitis patient you all know and you all treat. She usually has three to six episodes each year. She's otherwise completely healthy. And as we so often see, her doctors only treat her symptomatic episodes with quinolones, penicillin, cephalosporin, so always some strong antibiotics without thinking about any proper prophylaxis. And the second solution is that these Multidrug resistance strains still can be targeted with non-antibiotic treatment approaches just because they are multidrug resistance. We have very good alternatives, and Professor Wagelliner will tell you in detail about a recent study which shows that these are not inferior even to phosphomycin. We have some good phytotherapic approaches. And as we see more and more these community-acquired uncomplicated uh, cystitis cases caused with, with drug resist, multidrug resistant bacteria, I think these approaches will be more and more important in the future. So the message is with this first case is that recurrent episode, when we treat recurrent UTIs, appropriate treatment becomes very important because otherwise we create multidrug resistant infections. And just because our, 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 our cystitis is caused by these multidrug resistant bacteria, they still can be treated with phosphomycin or non-symptomatic treatment. And in case of recurrent infections, always have to start uh, prophylaxis. Good. Thank you very much for the introduction. Dear Chairman, dear colleagues, pleasure for me today to speak to you now. Today I would like to speak about uncomplicated cystitis. We have removed just one simple word. We have removed premenopausal from our definition of uncomplicated cystitis. So what I would like to say is thank you and I would like to say as well that it's desperately needed that we need alternatives to the antibiotics. So I will present you uh, a double-blind, double-dummy, randomized, multi-center, multinational study on a phytotherapeutic drug in the treatment of the acute phase of uncomplicated cystitis. I will come back to that design later because this is the most modern design you can do in interventional studies, and that has been done, I think, for the first time in a phytotherapeutic drug. You can appreciate in comparison to water, phosphomycin and nitrofurantoin, even nitrofurantoin, which is a, a, a small spectrum and niche antibiotics, do have a significant on the, uh, effect on the gut microbiome, whereas the phytotherapeutic drug does not significantly influence the microbiome. So the question is, is phytotherapy an alternative in the management of acute uncomplicated cystitis? The PAN-UTI-7 study, the follow-up study, has been performed as a double-blind, double-controlled, uh, double-dummy, parallel group, randomized, multi-center, multinational phase 3 non-inferiority tri non trial in female adults with uncomplicated urinary tract infections. A B-Node 1045 has been given for seven days, two tablets three times per day, 325 patients have been recruited to the uh, phytotherapeutic arm, and it was compared with a single-dose phosphomycin trametamol, and 334 patients have been recruited to the antibiotic arm. The primary endpoint has been, for the first time chosen in this study, the proportion of patients who received an additional antibiotic for acute lower uncomplicated UTI. So it was the additional antibiotic that was the primary endpoint. And secondary, 
uh, symptoms were assessed also for the first time in this study with an validated and evaluated questionnaire, the acute cystitis symptom questionnaire that has been introduced at days 4, 8, and 38. So this is the study design, BNO 1040, 5 plus phosphomycin placebo, so double dummy design in order to exclude any psychological reasons that could improve the symptoms, and in the other arm, phosphomycin trametamol and BNO 1045 placebo has been used. So this is the result for the primary outcome criterion. The non-inferiority with regards to additional antibiotic uh, administrations was met. As you see here, 83% of patients in the BNO 1045 arm did not need an antibiotic. And then the secondary outcome criterion was um, improvement of symptoms, and we used the acute cystitis symptom questionnaire. Uh, this is um, uh, uh, evaluated and validated. Score now being translated to 13 languages. This score is on the one hand of the diagnostic score. If the symptom questionnaire is six or higher, then um, this is very accurate that the patient has um, bacterial cystitis. The accuracy is higher than 90%. And this score can also be used for follow-up. So this is the results of uh, the symptom scores across the different visits. And as you see here, these symptom scores go practically in parallel. So in summary, um, the study has shown that uh, BNO 1045 is non-inferior versus phosphomycin trometamol for treating acute lower and complicated UTIs in women in terms of prevention of additional intake of antibiotics. The symptoms that were uh, assessed with a, uh, with a validated and evaluated acute society symptoms score, the reduction of these symptoms was comparable in both treatment groups, and there was no marked differences in adverse events or there were any safety signals. So in summary, um, I think this was additional evidence uh, that non-antibiotic treatment can be used in that uh, study with a phytotherapeutic drug in the acute phase of a complicated cystitis, and that is certainly a strategy that can help us save antibiotics and reduce antibiotic selection pressure, and by that means to reduce emergence of additional antibiotic resistance. Thank you very much.